mix window. And here we have it right here. As you can see, just like our edit window, on the left hand side we have our track views here. As you can see, I can scroll up or down the track view. I move my cursor here. We get the cursor turns into this arrow, double sided arrow. It's horizontal. I can move out and I can view the names of the tracks. I can also take tracks out the mix I don't want to see right currently, or I can just take them out or put them back in. As you can see right there, it's my track view. And we see the various type of tracks. We can see the instrument tracks, the MIDI tracks, and of course our audio tracks. Now below the track view we have here, this is the groups. So you see the groups right here, we have the guitars and the drums. Now, each one of these, of course, the track and the groups has a little button here where we can show which particular tracks you want to see. We have our show, the audio, the MIDI. So we can select, I want to see the master. And we only see one, see? I can go back to here, and instead of just showing the master, I may want to see all the tracks, show all. And they're all right there again. Or I can eliminate some, just go to here again and just take out the ones I don't want to see. Now here in groups, I can do the same thing. I can display the edit, the mix groups, or all groups. Suspend all groups or modify the groups or delete active groups. Now here, as you can see here, this window view is pretty minimal right now. I'm only showing the I.O. input and output. Below that, we have the automation. We have the retouch, latch, and write. And we'll talk more about some other stuff later on in uh, later videos. Right now, I just want to get you a good overview of how the mix window works. And here, as you can see here, this group, it says B there, that's a drum group, see that? I can also take this and move this over here like this a little bit, so I can move tracks within the group. That's a minimal view. I can go down here and press a little button right here. I can see all. So now I can see this makes it a really tall, tall mixer here, like on a regular mixing board. So this mimics a mixing board you would have in a recording studio or uh, any kind of studio, actually, whether it's radio or you do a TV. It mimics that mixing board. And you see a much better view. And you see we have different colors for each track. And at the top here, you can see here, we have the sends, returns. We have the aisles, of course, the instruments right here. Input for instruments right there, of course. Here's the returns and sends right here. And again, here we have the I.O., automation, the drum. Right here, we have our panning. We have the record button, our send, our solo, rather, and the mute. So see they're meeting together? So it's a groups, obviously. Groups will do that. If I select the individual track, oh, that's only by itself. So that's not part of a group. But these are. We have our faders right here. Let's see, groups are together. These faders move together because they're part of a group. Now below this, you'll see right here, there's little signs right here. And this signifies the type of track that this is. And this is known as a narrow view. I can go up here. And see, it says narrow view right there. I can go to change that view, click on it again. I get a full view. So let's say it spans out. I get a better view of each track. Now, see, this right here. I go out of here. We see right here, this is an instrument track. A little keyboard appears here. This is a MIDI track. And see the little sign for a MIDI cable input right there. That's a MIDI track. And of course, it says that's all right here. And the name of the track's right below that. And here, See this? Tells a certain name, delay, the compression here. These are telling what the plugins are doing within the track. It's a great new feature within Pro Tools 9. Of course, I can still make comments as well. And below that, we have the color coding for each track. So there's blue tracks and certain tracks. We know that this instrument track here is an instrument track, this color here. See that? Now, this can also be done right here in the top from the Pro Tools menu. You'll see it right here in the menu, and I'll go to View, and we go to Mixer Window Views, and we see the same thing. I can say None, and we're back to our minimalist view. See that? Pull out some tracks here. I can go back to my narrow view again. Let's go to View and make it narrow, and we're good to go. Now, what I like to do, too, let me tell you a little trick I like to do sometimes. Sometimes I want to see these meters wider, you know? You're playing a track, so I want to see a line, I can't see it. I want to see a wider view. See, so you have stuff moving up and down. See the meters going up here, and you want a wider view. So here's what you do. In Windows, you'll press Alt, Start, Control, Click. 
and on the Mac, we'll press Control, Option, Command, and we'll click on track. And we get a wider view of the media. So you can press the media and watch this. And it's wide, it's thicker. You get a better view to see the V U level. See that? The volume levels go up and down. That's really good. That's a great way to view stuff in your mixer.